good morning, good morning, guys and gals. Yes, indeed, it is a good morning. I just finished cleaning all my windows and mirrors and all that good stuff, so that way we can see something out of the window again. Yeah. I'm not too sure if that roof is high enough for a truck to go in there, so I don't want to hit it, you know? I don't want to cut her wide. And she's looking good. <clears throat> Anyways, let's get out of this uh, little truck stop up here. Let's get back onto the uh, highway and then uh, make our way down to our delivery place. It looks like it's a beautiful morning again. Although it drizzled a little bit earlier. But right now we're looking good. There we go. <clears throat> Let's make our way entry to our delivery. Take the entrance to the right on US 127 South US 10 East Mount Pleasant. All right there, RJ. We're going to try that. Yeah, we got 35 miles to go to our delivery. So, we should be there on time according to RJ. It says 10 minutes to 10. US 10 East Midland. I should be there. That's awesome. I left perfect timing then according to me. <laughs> yeah. So let's make our way down there and uh, hope for the best. Hope we get us a reload. All that good stuff, right? I would not be surprised if I got me a little bit of a load that I don't really like or don't really want, but we'll see. In order to go to this place, I gotta be in the left lane here, it looks like. Gotta go on exit uh, 158 to Highway 10 East in order to get to our delivery place. So, yeah, let's hope we get unloaded pretty quick and hopefully they'll give us a reload there pretty quick too. That would be nice. <clears throat> but it is actually pretty nice out here though. It's, it's like plus 12 right now, which is not too bad. Reduced to head. So, appreciate you guys tuning in. And let's stick around for the rest of the show and let's see what we're up to today. I have just gotten unloaded, guys. Yep. And I still don't have no reload offer yet, so uh, I looked it up and there is a truck stop only about another 9 miles from where I'm at right now, but there is another truck stop 20 miles from where I'm at right now, so it's only like 11 more miles further south, and that is a Flying J, and uh, this one coming up here in 9 miles is only like a mom and pop type of truck stop, so uh, I have decided I'm going to go over there to the Flying J. That way I can uh, put 50 gallons of fuel in the truck. That gives me a shower. And I do have the internet subscription for the Flying J. So, uh, hey, you know, it's during the day. It's probably not that many people in there. So I can probably park somewhere close to the internet. I rendered two videos there uh, yesterday one and this morning one. So uh, I can upload those two videos and then uh, yeah, I can go in there and take me a shower. Since I'm going to be putting 50 gallons of fuel in, that'll give me enough for a shower. I'll go in there and grab me a shower because I haven't had any shower in the last two days. So I'm overdue for a shower, but up here in the northern part there ain't no... No real truck stop up here, really. I mean, there ain't too many truck stops up here, so... Wasn't able to take a shower up there, you know? So, we're gonna go down there and take us a shower, fuel... Hopefully we get us a reload soon. I hope I don't have to sit here too long. I mean, I don't know what the issue is. I'm not even getting any response from him. Like, I sent him a message. Right? You have a reload for me or no response whatsoever so oh well maybe he's on coffee break right now and 
Maybe you'll come back in a little bit. But yeah, we'll make our way down there and see what kind of day we will have. Hopefully they won't uh, give me a load and say like hurry up and get there like ASAP, you know, like that doesn't give me no time to actually like update my website and get ready and you know type it into my streets and trips on the computer to see where we're going and all that stuff so but usually that's how it is all of a sudden they get a load and then it's like hurry up and get there like you were supposed to be there like two minutes ago you know oh well and you gotta giddy up and go Usually that's the case when I'm inside the shower to send me the message and then I don't notice it right away and then, <laughs> then you gotta go. But oh well, we managed to deliver our load here. That didn't take very long at all. Exactly one hour from the time we pulled in there till we were unloaded, swept out the trailer and left their property. It was exactly one hour. so. I always try to make sure that I sweep out the trailer so that way we have a nice clean trailer either for the next customer or if I have to drop the trailer let's say at the yard somewhere then at least for the next guy you know at least they got a nice clean trailer and that's Penner's policy too we're supposed to sweep out the trailers and if we don't we get charged 50 bucks if the other person complains that the trailer is not clean so that's quite a bit of money for 50 bucks. You bet I'm gonna be sweeping out my trailer. <laughs> hey, yep, that's for sure. Anyways, we'll make our way down there and we'll see what happens for the rest of the day. Well, I just finished telling you guys, we're probably gonna get a load that we gotta be there like yesterday. <laughs> or, you know, like yesterday we're supposed to be there. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was saying as an example like you know they wanted me there two minutes ago you know and that's pretty much what I got <laughs> I didn't even quite get down to the flying gen beep goes the satellite I check it out and so uh, basically I didn't have no time to take a shower or anything I didn't even take fuel or nothing I just Looked at it, I'm supposed to be at my customer at 3 o'clock this afternoon, which ain't gonna happen. I mean, I didn't even fuel or nothing, I just, you know, put her in gear like right away towards there. And we can, like the GPS is showing me I'll be there at 8 minutes to 4. So uh, I texted dispatch, I said, well, I'm on my way, but... Uh, I can't be there for 3 o'clock, I can only be there for 4 o'clock if I have no stop at all, you know. So, uh, so they said, that's fine, we'll advise the customer. Alright, well, yes, then we'll make our way down there and hope for the best. I have no idea what kind of product it is. I didn't even have time to update my website, just like I was telling you, that's exactly what's going to happen. Are most likely to going to happen <laughs> and that's exactly what just happened I can't update my website I just got a hammer down I have no time to do anything I was gonna at least take me a shower but oh well that's gonna have to wait till tonight we'll have to make sure we stop somewhere tonight in the area that I'm reloading is an area where it's more likely to get a truck stop that has showers you know it's more in the central area again you know it's it's actually only a little bit south of, uh, of Gary Indiana there so it's not too far so we can probably make our way back to uh, to uh, Gary or something like that depends on what time we're done loading well, I probably don't want to go much further anyways because that's going to be rush hour going into Chicago at that time. I mean, get there at 4, get loaded maybe by 5 or something like that and then start heading back home. You know, probably be 5.30, 6 o'clock by the time I get back to Chicago. Yeah, it's usually a bit traffic then already. And by the time I would be on the other side of Chicago, that would be kind of late. So, 
But then again, we'll see what happens. If I pushed her real hard, then uh, I could probably be home tomorrow night. I mean, it would be late night, but uh, I could probably be home tomorrow late night. If I push, if I, if I pushed her hard, I could probably do, do that. But that's also going to be depending on how long it takes to get reloaded and all that stuff. So I guess it's just going to be a short trip this week, but. Oh well, what can you do, right? Well guys, it is the next morning and we did get loaded last night. Yes, indeed we did. And we're over here in South Beloit, Illinois at the Flying Hook. We got us a uh, reserve parking over here. That's why we have that paper hanging there. As you can probably see right there, the reserve parking here. I uh, got loaded there, what was it? About six o'clock yesterday, I think. Something like that, quarter to six or something like that. I got out of there. And then uh, I said, well, I would really like to get through Chicago. Otherwise, I'd have to do that this morning and get through all the traffic. And I said, I don't really want to do that. So uh, I decided, you know what, make me a reservation up here. Let's make her over here to the Flying J. So we got here quarter to nine, I believe we got here. Filled her up, took a shower, had some good supper and watched the debates. Yesterday was election day, which is actually on today's video but it's seven days behind right so uh, we have a winner this morning and that is donald trump thumbs up for that i know some of you guys are going to disagree but i like him i know not all you know not everybody's going to like him and i know both of them had a bunch of stuff that we didn't like probably but who can you really find that you're not going to find that right you know tell me really like who are you going to find that's not going to have something happen in their lifetime that people are going to bring up, right? Even me or you or somebody else, you know, you're always going to find something you've done when you were younger and that you might regret or whatever, but uh, the outcome is the outcome the people have chosen. Now we got to respect that and live with that decision, right? But uh, anyways, I'm not going to get into too much of the politics stuff. I try to stay away from it. And it isn't even my country either, so I can't even vote for anybody. <laughs> but hey, I give it a big thumbs up. Share this video and we will be back tomorrow morning. So don't go nowhere. The Trucker Rudy Show will continue.